a roasted spaghetti squash with a shrimp scampi sauce. So basically what I do is I cut the spaghetti squash in half and then I just put a little olive oil and salt and pepper and I cover it and put it in the oven for like an hour. It's a very, very dense uh, squash. <clears throat> so it's gonna take a minute. But then what happens, Rachel, is after you cook it for like an hour, you, you can just, let me just move this over here. After you cook it for an hour, you just take a fork and you just create basically this squash that looks like spaghetti. I mean, it's just, the, it's like noodles of squash and it's so <laughs> healthy and it's got a good chew to it. Um, it's always nice and al dente, it's beautiful. And then basically your, your, your sort of pasta or the squash in this case is done, then we can make the sauce. So cool. I'm gonna make basically a shrimp scampi, which is like, like an old school, I mean, you, as you know, it's like an Italian American dish. It's, uh, you know, it's shrimp with white wine and lemon and some butter and some parsley. I put a little crack, uh, cracked pepper in mine, of course, because I like it a little bit, um, cracked red pepper. Because I like it a little spicy, we don't have to do that. Yeah, we like it hot. Yeah, of course. So I'm just gonna take the shrimp and I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper. And uh, I'm gonna saute it in uh, some canola oil. Um, I like to use canola oil when I cook. Um, you know, every cook feels differently about it, but for me, um, I use the extra virgin olive oil just to kind of do no, things like roast or to finish dishes. And basically what's gonna happen is the, the canola oil, the hot canola oil, is gonna allow the shrimp to taste like shrimp. Right, so we, take, we saute the shrimp, and then we have some other ingredients here as well. We have some shallots and some, and some crushed garlic, some crushed red pepper, some lemon juice. And I actually, I mean, I know this, this is another very controversial thing. I don't know how you feel about it, but like for this dish, I actually use a little Parmigiano Reggiano. Yeah, I know like the whole idea of fish or shrimp with cheese and I know, but that's such beef. a silly rule. It's antiquated. You should be able to put cheese on whatever you want to put cheese on, man. So as we were talking, Rachel, after, after I took the shrimp out, I sauteed it very quickly. Uh, to glaze the pan with some white wine, cook out the alcohol a little bit, save the flavor of the grape. And we had some shallots and some garlic, and then we're gonna finish this with some butter. And then uh, I'm gonna put the shrimp back into the, uh, into the garlic and butter sauce. Put some crushed red pepper in there as well. Okay, and then some fresh parsley. And then when we come back, we're gonna plate this up. Looks gorgeous. Very happy. I mean, it, I mean, it literally looks like a, like a bowl of pasta, um, but it's spaghetti squash, so it's, it's a pretty cool dish.